Welcome to another episode of Tea Time as we analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Osi Godwin. And I've got my very interesting co hankers with me, Ife Omai and Ife Uluwa Oshunke. It's good, it's good, it's good. Should I be calling you only Ife Uluwa? Because you know you're allowed to Oshunke your land before you jump in. Of course, when I hear Ife Omai, I know I'm next. So. <sighs> Why then, and you know you, you are popular Calm like that. down, you're not curing cancer. Oh, <laughs> Behind the scenes. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> they me like that. No, nobody exposes you. I don't expose you yourself mm -hmm. now. Yeah, well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But just calm down, you're not yeah, curing cancer. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So Rihanna and her dad um, are also coming down as they agreed to postpone their court battle. According to court documents obtained by um, The Blast, Rihanna and her dad have informed the court that they reached a deal to postpone their trial until um, at least September 22nd. Rihanna sued her dad and, her, and his associates at Fenty Entertainment last year, accusing them of falsely representing her and booking shows without her knowledge. The delay was requested due to the fact that Rihanna is currently living in London and has no plans to fly back to Los Angeles during the coronavirus lockdown. Mm -hmm. I, mm. Mm. I just well, love this what? family. Yeah. First, you know, we had the conversation when she had to get a ventilator, yeah, ventilator, ventilator, yeah, ventilator for the dad and we were like, oh, wow, they can keep <laughs> the quarrel aside and be family. <laughs> yes. and now they are pushing it forward. So yeah. that corona go, we continue mm -hmm. from where we stop. It's interesting how they are Go cordial, ahead. but they're still very like... Professional. Professional, if that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. like, for you to reach an agreement to postpone the trial, but you didn't reach the agreement to say, uh, you know what, let's just cancel, cancel the, the whole thing. So you or can agree. Out of court. Yeah, or something. Um, it's very interesting. It's such a weird dynamics. But very, I think... But I, like I think it. Me too. But I was also looking at the case because it's so weird, like a father and daughter, especially this public. And I think this is my theory. It's not like facts or anything. But I think one of the reasons why she's doing this is because if she doesn't actually legally settle the misrepresentation of her name, um, it might affect her, which is bigger than just like a dad. It is affecting her already because he, I think he booked a show <laughs> on her name. And of course she had no idea. So it's crazy. And it's I know, what kind of dad does that? Mm. Like... A dad that's trying to cash out. <laughs> is it hard though? Yeah, man. Because you think that she, he would be fine, you know? Like, mm. I mean, financially. So what would then be your motive to scam your child? Well, I guess, uh, I guess except to just say scammer. Well, maybe it's not scamming. Maybe you just thought I could make some decisions for her. But it's just a but, man. But you need to and know. most men no, know how they are. No, no. The way I see it is that you Don't just Don't forget the like, story about him and Rihanna's mom and right. his shadiness as well. So that's just who he is. So maybe you can just, maybe in my opinion, that you want to look at it from all sides, from all angles, right? Mm -hmm. It could have been that, okay, maybe I can make this decision for her. It's something that will work for her. But we need to remember <laughs> that Rihanna is not independent. She, she has management. And if our management, so uh, she might even be like, it's fine, no problem. But the management will be like, what you mean, no problem? So I'm sure he has asked before and she said no and still went ahead with it though. All right, well, that's that's aside that. But um, one thing I learned from this story is that um, you have to separate family from business regardless. Wow. Even friendship, the best of, we can be best of friends, but when it's time for you to scold me or when it's time for us to be as professional as we can be, then it doesn't affect, it doesn't mean you're not my friend. It just mm. shows that you have my best interest and you have your own best interest at art mm. as well so because what precedence would you be given if you let your father go ahead and make plans for you that you're not aware about then maybe your manager too will go to my brother well, father did it's me so mm. maybe i should try mm -hmm. it do you understand so you shouldn't let such precedence even um stand in the it's first very, it, place i like that you really bring that up because i think that's something that is sometimes it's hard to execute like this advice because um especially if you're someone that cares about other people's feelings or you're, you're nice or whatever it's hard to be able to communicate that you don't want something mm -hmm. without the fear if you always care about what everybody thinks mm -hmm. well i mean why, why i was even going with the relationship like when you have a relationship with someone it's, like, it's hard to communicate that or else they actually didn't like that you you know, went ahead and made that decision, blah, blah, blah. Like, sometimes it's hard to be able to, like, um, do that. People, and that's why I always, people, yes, and I always worry about friendships that I cannot switch on. So, like, let's say where everything is going smooth and we're, we're communicating, we're connecting, blah, blah, blah. And then you do something I don't like and I call you out on it and you, know, you can't get past that. Like, we can't be friends because yeah. I need to be able to... I also would want to say kudos to those because as much as we say if you don't mix family and business, don't make it, mix um, friendship and business, there are people that are doing it perfectly mm -hmm. yeah. fine and I, I envy you 
<laughs> I hope that I can get that in my life. But, yeah. sure but if I don't, I understand. Is fine yeah. is because they have rules laid out and they're following those rules. You, you, but you know, if I, even when you have rules laid out, yeah. things come up. This is like maybe their personalities are not just very difficult in general. I think the hardest to be to deal with somebody. Or maybe they have difficult. the same plans, the same dreams for whatever business mm. they're doing together. Yeah, so it's hard to other. have. Well, yeah, so it's hard to have different opinion or um, opposing no, opinions. Out, whatever the case is. My Big shout out to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys are trying. Okay, moving on to a place if uh, Oshoka will probably understand better. Swiss Beat says rappers should pay taxes to hip hop founders. He said the fact we are not paying taxes on who started hip hop shows that we don't um, shows that we don't really love hip hop. The fact that we don't pay taxes as artists to those icons that paved the way took the lower cuts for the music that allow us to feed our families. We need to be paying taxes to the creators of hip hop that gave us freedom of speech to go forward. End of quote. Mm. <laughs> I wish I could understand it. You better. will know your hip hop but, people. No, but I am not really in support of um, what he's saying. The tax part. Okay. But the part where he said he wanted to raise a million naira each for them. For them. I totally agree because a lot of them are not making money. They had their songs when streaming was not the thing. So they are not making money from streams eh, like that. Uh, except those ones that, are, that still have management that have gone ahead to put their songs on different platforms. And to promote it as well. And to promote it as well. But most of them now, nobody's listening to them again. We just remember, ah, where's Funk Master Flex? Where's this person? Where's Run the MC? You get that's That's I the only time. People. What? I was trying to compose now. <laughs> why know, why yeah. did you just bring our leg out like that? Well, it's okay. That's why I said he will understand. Mm -hmm. So it's different in that case if they were making money from streams. So you'd be like, okay, they're still good. But in this case, a lot of them are just taking a backseat and they're just enjoying their legendary starters or we paved the way for those people. They get respect, mm -hmm. but... I, have you gone to check like it's just like our veteran actors and actresses as well the same way we say go back and check on these people how are they faring mm. if they're part of the so that's the same thing i think they should have a body for that but saying pay tax is quite a stretch yeah i agree yeah. it's quite a stretch because if we go that route we'll all be paying tax someone that so will pay paying tax someone that will pay tax i mean yeah. this world is how long yeah people have always been pioneers yeah. even no matter how we've tried to evolve and do things better someone there's nothing new under the sun right yeah. now you know mm -hmm. so if we go that route <laughs> And then uh, just going off what you said, because I, I, I have to agree with everything, is um, I think finding that balance between plagiarism and referencing. So plagiarism, taking somebody else's information, that's done on every level down mm. to this outfit and hairstyle and makeup mm. style or whatever. Um, and then so plagiarism, if the person is plagiarizing somebody else's work, what are the, um, based on the extremity that it's done, what are the consequences for that? And then there's referencing. So if you, if um, how do you correctly reference um, somebody else and what quotas are there? I think uh, it's not my headache and I would not even try and figure out what that would look like. But I think that's what your, the bodies that you mentioned mm. should start to take into consideration of, of how both things will be handled. There's always been an issue with art and creative forms um, and being really legal with those things. I think if I made a cup, it's very easy to be able to like manage the balance of plagiarism and referencing because it's my cup. But when it starts to like sing a song or hit a note or write a music or things so like that, it gets... will always be a note. Yeah, mm -hmm. it starts mm. to get very complicated. Like I said, it's not my headache. Okay, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, right. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early, sleeping early.
Nollywood actress and pastor Yukaria Anunobi is dropping some wisdom on her Instagram page. She said, and I'll just read it the way she did, we create our own heartbreaks through undue expectations from people who never were worth the while. You know he or she gossips about everything and everyone, yet you get offended when you hear that person also gossips about you. From the first date, he exhibited shifty eyes, darting looks at every lady passing by, yet you expect that he will have eyes for you alone. She doesn't like reading, but likes partying, yet you get offended when she doesn't join you in the library. From courtship to wedding, he or she has not given you a pet love name, yet you're offended after years of marriage and you are still addressed by your name. You call him or her to pray about your relationship, he or she declines, instead tells you to do all the prayers, and then you get offended after years of marriage and yet you're the only one praying. May your eyes of understanding open to descend pits of pain and not be ignorant of the devices of Satan. End of quotes. Bahose. <laughs> <laughs> What's that man <laughs> in the boss? <laughs> ah! Hits, hits, hits. So, I think, like she said, um, we set our, ourselves up for a lot of things. We expect so much from people, yep. even. And we hope that they will change. Yeah, yep. and, and I was going to get there that um, even when you clearly know that this is not this person, mm. you just have this. We have to get rid of that mindset of um, I'll change her, mm. I'll change him. No, if you can't, if you notice that this person is this way, mm. you've spoken to them about it once and you see that they are not even making any attempt to change, mm. kindly move on because mm. don't think that okay, when we get married, that's when I'll change you. Or if you're not going to move on, sit down and ask yourself, Can, can I, you I deal with this for you. a lifetime? Yep. Mm. All right, that's another yep. way to look at it. Yeah, you should look. And then you also, evaluate they, you it. also said that if they try and you no, know, they're not trying at all, if they try and they don't succeed, you should also leave. <laughs> Because you cannot eat effort, darling. Mm -hmm. You can't eat it. Um, no, but no, but you know, there's some people that you know that they desperately want to change. Oh, that's not enough, but guy. Oh, <laughs> <Is it>? uh. <laughs> but deep down, it's deep like someone coming to me and saying that you know what, Ife, I want to part. I love you so much, but I think you talk too much, and mm. I need you to. I will try. But if I, how would you try? Like, I, I was expecting you would say, you know what, darling, let's not start. <laughs> even if I, I can't help I, it. Because I, I've, I've tried to change a lot of things about myself. I just know that it's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. Even some things that I feel like, oh, I wish I could actually like change, change this particular thing. But you're going to have to be okay with it. I've chosen that over mm. love for so many relationships where mm -hmm. it's like, this is great and fantastic, but it's not going to work because this particular issue that you have, I cannot live for the uh, live with it for the rest it's of my life. life. But I just to go on to not to deviate and make it a relationship thing this is about discernment i think one thing that people usually do is that they downplay the effect of something so the way red flags work and i i think people don't really catch that a lot is that if the person is looking at another lady's skirt and you 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 think you might oh but he's not cheating I think that's the problem like people don't actually see the effect of that, that red that we flag have shifty eyes together Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that happen? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it depends. Not shifty eyes. Ah. We see things. We banter about it together. Exactly. Yeah, and we move on. And we yeah. move on. Mm -hmm. Not the one that eyes is shifting with this. <laughs> <laughs> that's the yeah. shifty eyes. But you know that's this, this, it's almost the same thing because as yours is shifting, as is shifting as well. She like. But there has that? been situations where my eyes mm. shift with some back behind. Her. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, what? And you're you like, ah, what did you see that? Well, I, and I then we just banter about it mm. and then we move on. So, not necessarily. I feel like if that starts to get very often, I don't think I'll be comfortable with that. If it's very, com like, very. Well, people have had consistent. that kind of connection with, we usually do it almost at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. nobody's counting at yeah. that point. And sometimes it's usually when the lady like, has an extravagantness about her. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing that to every Tom, Dick, yeah, Harry, that, your waitress, and everyone, I'm not. No, don't involve me. I'm not interested. Please. <laughs> I don't want to do okay, it. I, I, I understand where she's coming from. I think we are, most of us are on this table. Let me not just use yeah. the word we for everybody. Which I, although I think it's everybody anyway. But we need to try to watch our expectations and the hope that we can change someone. Because mm. like you rightly said, you can't really change a person um, categorically. Except that person has seen a reason to change and yeah. decided to work on it. And then if they do... How are you sure that the changing will work, which is what mm -hmm. you've touched on? So it's a difficult situation. So whenever you're getting into a relationship, I know you said you don't want to make it about relationship, but if you look at everything she lined up, mm -hmm. I think it's basically relationship. So it's better to know what it's you can like you either friendship relationship. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, what yeah, you yeah, can yeah, handle, yeah, what can you stomach, not just for now or for the craze of I want to have a boyfriend or yeah. I want to have a girlfriend for the long haul. Because yeah. fine, it might end along the way, but you still have to think yeah. long term. So am I 
can I deal with this for the next mm. one, two, ten years, yeah. twenty years? Can I still handle it and understand the yeah. the effect? Because you mentioned something when you said they just look at the skirt and they feel oh they are not cheating. Mm. But at the end of the day, when that person doesn't come back to look at you the way they are looking at this other person, yeah. would you be fine? So it's a lot of things, and I hope that we can try because I'm of also course. on that table. I hope that we can try to see the red flags and run when we need to run. Canada. Okay. That was very specific. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so Chloe Kardashian <laughs> shuts down pregnancy and Tristan Thom Thompson reunion rumors. In a series of tweets, um, her tweets read, uh, I think she was really upset. She said, the sick and hurtful things people say. I'm disgusted by so many things I'm seeing. People swear they know everything about me, including my uterus. Um, the nasty things you're saying about me over a rumor. I have seen so many hurtful, despicable stories and tweets about me over a false story. And if it were true, it's my life, not yours. Funny how picky and choosy some can be with who and how you feel um, others should live their lives. I believe people should focus on their own lives, families, put energy in battering the scary world we are currently living in and try projecting positivity as opposed to niceness, end of quote. Okay, first thing, she did not debunk any rumor because did. that was... Mm, she said even if it were true. Okay, because even if it were true means that it could be true. So not, yeah. I don't think it's true. It could be true. It, it could be it true could be. because she Just said maybe. on the show that ages ago that she wanted to, she wanted this guy to be her, her sperm donor. A donor, yeah. Yes. And then they're quarantining together. So it could be true. Second thing is how she said it is my life. You see the, the, can I say it on air? So I said, but are you on his mm, though? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then, okay, another thing is she said, it's my life, not yours. And then in the second side, she said, um, picking and choosing. And the next statement said, picking and choosing. I want to just throw that back out to her. First mm. of all, you're making, your relevance is about the fact that you made your life our, our business. Life. So now you want to pick and choose when you want me to be interested in your your life but that's not gonna happen okay, okay. so everybody knows everyone i'm writing it down for clear <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Everybody knows in the industry that when you start this thing, it comes with the good, the bad, and, 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 and the, the ugly. ugly. Mm. So behave yourself and take uh, it, uh. okay? Secondly, I mean, thirdly, rather, I can't stand this girl and Tristan's thing. I, I, I appreciate people who make mistakes with their heads up. Like, you know what, guy? I'm I want to, yeah, You know, I'm going to be stupid. I, I've given this person my moment, but then I want to be stupid. Like, like Nicki Minaj. Thank you. If, 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 if she did that. That stuff was beautiful, spot on. Um, if she did that, I would appreciate that more. But but this this silly thing of like I'm a victim when you're not. Like you're with the scumba. You know that. Like sit there with pride and no pretend, which is why we had a problem with Jordan and, and mm -hmm. things like that. It wasn't that Jordan didn't make a mistake in kissing somebody else's man, but the person that's also doing the kissing is a scumbag. So why, what's with the whole hypocrisy know, it thing? It reminds me of the story as well. We didn't get to talk about that, but when Kylie was saying, why, why is it, it difficult it was, for people to forgive yeah. Jordan? So if you are now in bed with... Um, Tristan, why can't you allow the friendship between Kylie and, and Jordan Jenna to continue? continue? The hypocrisy and everything that she talks about with regards to Tristan is just, yeah, it's wrong. Um, in my opinion, like if I said, um, you are a reality star. We watch your life on a daily. So saying, we, of course, we feel we know more about your life than you do. Yeah, because, because you, you tell us everything. Cameras everywhere, you like a, like so, a, like a, mm, mm. <laughs> I think that you give us way too much for us not to feel like we're part of your exactly. life. Mm. So we feel like, so if I tell you about your body, please, sis, take it. Yeah. I, I'm probably right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. If I tell you you're gaining weight. Because I remembered what you yeah. did last week. Yes. yes. If I tell you I'm we probably gaining you when weight. when you were younger till now. Yeah. Are you crazy? Please like... take it. We are the ones watching. We're the ones seeing this thing. So if, if somebody's telling you that maybe your uterus or maybe your is, mm, then maybe it's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I know say like oh i have a new product thank you guys for supporting yeah this love has been overwhelming listen to that you encourage you want us to, like, to support follow you, you then. yeah but then when you make a decision that's just like really mad crazy and you made that public by the way because we couldn't we didn't need to know anything about Tristina, exactly. your thoughts you, you brought that in there that. yes mm -hmm. and yeah, you even had a special episode time. about like your reactions to these people and now you're telling us that sis that phone needs to be taken away from you quickly. and they even keep saying they want to stay away from social media blah, 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 but you never but one thing they've noticed about chloe is that whenever 
she's bitter or maybe she's having a problem with somebody, she comes to rants like, okay, we're she, not good. She is the typical so, white girl um, thingy of like making herself the victim. Like, I don't yeah. know that if you see that trade a lot, so somebody will say something racist, everybody comes up to and attack I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sad. I didn't mean it. My intentions. That's Chloe. Like, instead of her, Kim Kardashian is another person that I feel like doesn't do that at all. Mm -hmm. Like, Kim knows when she went to a sanctuary, uh, be a zoo. I think I, I feel like you, Kim has understood what she signed up for. Yes. So I think Courtney needs to... And, and Courtney, Courtney has understood what she skin. signed up for Chloe and decided she doesn't it. want to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm, Chloe needs to make that decision she as well. She needs to make the decision as well. All right, keeping up with the tea timers, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so according to Sahara reporters, Nigerian immigration has punished officers with redeployment for participating in the Bob Daddy Challenge. Um, the female officers were issued queries after the video went viral and it was signed by... Um, and it's assistant control polar general on behalf of the general. Human resource management said footage of the officials revealed a display of indecent flaunting of bodies and desecration of service uniform and barrettes. Um, Priscilla was moved from Lagos um, down to Kano. Binti Atabo was transferred from Yobe down to, um, from Abuja to Yobe. Then Catherine was transferred from Namdi Azikiwe Airport in Enugu to Nigeria Immigration Training School in River State. Blessing from Abuja to Akwaibom. Enneni was, um, I, I don't know her exact location now, but now she's going to Bonus. Bon Bonu State. Um, so the NIS is in a letter dated May 12, 2020, declared that it will not bear the cost of the officers' relocation. Despite the interstate lockdown, they have been asked to travel to their new places mm. of assignment within seven days. Wow. They need to redeploy their wings now, you know, mm. to get there. And, you know, every time we talk on this table about law, about, you know, the government and stuff, I actually used to say that, oh, yeah, the law system is slow and we can't actually react fast. And But I feel like I'm going to start taking that back. We just have really um, displaced uh, priorities because this was handled so quickly. Policies were made so quickly. Consequences for the actions were also made so quickly, but you don't see that in every aspect. But, but you can't compare that to the government or the general public because this is it's more. It's not of just an, the general it, public. There's a lot of things that are also like very minute. Like the guy that that molested an eight-year-old that took three years and he was a nobody. I feel like you're no, picking no, no, no. That's, that's a process. Now this is an internal if affair. Same thing. thing. If you go to this people's office to make a complaint. They will it not will take forever. Discuss. They're picking and choosing <laughs> when they want to take things seriously. In regards to the Bob Daddy challenge, I'm clearly not in the same Nigeria as these people. And I don't see anything indecent. I wish they focused more on the uniform that I understood. Mm -hmm. Not understood, but like it's, it's your, if that's your rule, that's your rule. Mm. I would get that. But the indecent dressing is very... I didn't get that because um, I went back to check the yeah, video. Yeah, mm -mm. I didn't see... And were they indecent? No, I mean, they, they did show dressed. like curves and stuff, but those are their curves. So, curves. Those, that's ah, the body. I don't understand. Are they they're supposed, supposed to, cut, to trim the curves? Yeah, I don't understand. I'm more so or they were supposed <laughs> to wear um, hijab or what? My point is to share that I did not say anything indecent about the clothing, but obviously, some these men, I'm very sure, are male dominated don't be decisions. There are women in that. Mm, it's true, Sha. Mm -hmm. actually... In fact, I'm very sure the woman pushed this thing hmm. to this point. It's quite unfortunate, but mm, it's where we are. So, but, but there was a time, there was a time um, um, Faust posted their video and said he wanted to get in touch, in touch with, with them. them yeah. I kind of feel, I don't know now, this is just my feeling about the situation. I feel like the delay in this decision, because I think there was a delay. This mm. happened in... Um, ages ago. Like, was it really ages? Like a, a month, about two months or thereabouts. Yeah. A month, yeah. Okay. A month, okay. And it's just happening now. There, it there happened during punishment. the lockdown. Right? So I feel like there's been conversation, there's been inter whatever and probably this is the least punishment they feel they i feel so get. too i feel yeah. so too even though i feel some are punished a whole lot more than yes. others because some were sent to some um, states that is I'm it sure. Bono Gombe that you I can't think the idea was just to to take them out of their primary location to disturb yeah. their life yeah, yeah but they're taking, some of them amazing. are taking them to unsafe places exactly. like places that are actually there, there are people from their they, they have an office there so there are people mm. there we can't have that conversation really because are you saying so. those there should leave their primary assignment as well. Well, true that, but yeah. at least they're Fair taking enough. them to places they don't want to yeah, go to. Yeah, they are not they prepared for, because normally, before to. you get a transfer, you're informed, and then I think you have, like, a um, few months to prepare, and mm. then you move there, but this is purely punishment, and it's, I don't know. 
I just how do they even get there yeah i just hope they overcome this and um they're able to just move on with their lives and because i, I wouldn't want to say hope you've learned your lesson because there, lesson? there was nothing to and i hope they get support to, from they just but, other people but well. on the other end we're not part of the nigerian immigration service so we don't know their rules so if they know that they were, we haven't heard a statement from this lady since they got punished or since the story i don't think they use social media again so um if there are rules that oh you can't wear certain things and it's part of the NIS guy in your house, in the office when you are doing the in job. Your you house, can't you can't things, wear certain things in your house. Your house they well, check your wardrobe. There are rules that you can't put certain things on, so we don't know these things. Okay. Do you know what? By the time we probe into this now, you will find out that they will tell you that okay, it's in our guideline. Mm. This is how you should go about okay. it. Okay, I guess um, I'm happy to be doing my job. And looking this way and that's how i wrap up this episode of tea time thank you for watching and do join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter twitter plus tv africa also watch this episode and all exclusive content by visiting our youtube channel at plus tv africa and please do subscribe my thank you as always we go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife olua Oshokeye, and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is elsie godwin please stay safe <laughs>